This is an afterthought to add a second part to that video because I realized I just didn't explain it thoroughly enough, or at least I didn't have enough words to actually explain what I was doing. So I kind of wanted to get into that. At one point when I was doing the pull-up, I mentioned I was kind of getting my mind, body, and spirit together. And uh, I'm gonna get into that later on another one. And I'm going to get increasingly more deep into my train of thought as these videos are rolled out. I was talking about mindset. To kind of give more of a long-winded explanation into that, I, I wanna do that today with this part two. So if you're okay with that, then keep watching. Um, so when I set up, I always think, you know, mind, body, spirit, that's my pretty much like checklist. And I actually go body, mind, spirit, and so my body is pretty superficial. It's breathing, how my hands are, how my grip is, my form, my posture, like just everything that I can possibly get right. That's the body. Um, but this one's about the mind and that's the mindset, which is pretty much like all that motivational junk that you always hear on the internet, which is like, I can do this. Uh, so on like that, like this is what I'm doing. And when I successfully do my best, it's usually when my mindset is in the present moment. And that's why I really, really promote meditating before workouts, like before I even go to the gym. But even just those little moments when I bring that back and I just kind of, I'm there and I'm very, very present. My mind isn't at work with like problems in my life or, you know, my I want to's, have to's, should's, all that stuff. That's totally aside, I'm present. Um, it's proven statistically that Olympic athletes, when they're thinking um, about anything else, they perform far worse. They don't hit targets like in archery and they don't go as fast. It's only when they're actually present and they're not thinking that they do really, really good. They hit 100% of the targets. Time and time again are proven that you have to be present in the moment to perform your best in the mental state. With that being said, another thing about present moment that works with the mind part as well is breathing and having that steady breathing and getting your heart rate perfect and you're not just all messed up. like. You know, you see some power lifters even like just subconsciously know that they have to, you know, they're just like, <laughs> ah, you know, and they just kind of go for it and they kind of get this rhythm. Same with the basketball player. They kind of get their mind in, they've trained their mind to do a pattern. So say a basketball player will do a dribble, 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 and then they'll shoot and it increases their free throws because it's a pattern that their brain comprehends and it finds this groove and it gets them in the present moment and it shuts down everything else that's in their thought except for what they're doing. So when I say body, mind, spirit, when I say mind, I mean that. And it's like a web that nothing is really its own little thing. I just kind of have this as like my little trifecta of parts that I go through. And that was more of a thorough explanation of that part, which I totally didn't get into that last video. Um, so I hope that helps and I hope that explained it. I'll probably go into this again with maybe better examples, maybe something that you can actually see, or maybe at the moment I can talk about it. But that's really what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about the mind, I mean like totally getting everything right and just getting everything that doesn't matter at that very moment out of your head, and which is something I should really talk about more, which is the meditation beforehand. And that really, really helps me. It is shown in so many ways for many, many years that meditation causes a more present mind. And if you're not present, some people are gifted. They just don't need that, I guess. But it works for me and I highly suggest it. And it's not like, 
oh, you meditate once and you're just going to do it. You just, it's this thing that you work up, you kind of get better and better, better. So for instance, they say that um, a sharpshooter, when they are like shooting, the moment before they actually take a shot, their brain waves completely flatline and stop for just that moment where they take a shot. And when they show ones that their heart, uh, their brain waves kept going, they didn't do good. So it's really important and they are doing a form of meditation at that very moment. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, it's a very broad category. There's a lot to go into it. Anyways, just wanted to add that because I thought it just wasn't thoroughly explained in that last video. Okay, till next time. Peace.